Press the bell icon on YouTube and don't miss another update. Campaigning for the last lap of the ongoing assembly election finishes today. And these elections have been touted as the semi-final to the big 2019 election. However, they are not. Here's why. For the BJP, for instance, this election is not being fought in the name of Narendra Modi, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, unlike other elections, say in Uttar Pradesh or Tripura or even Gujarat. In these elections, the respective state leaders, whether it's Vasundhara Raja in Rajasthan, it's Raman Singh in Chhattisgarh or Shivrat Singh Chauhan in Madhya Pradesh are the dominant faces. The voters are going to vote for these leaders, whether they vote for them or against them. They are the pivots of these elections. They are the main leaders of these elections. Modi has had to play second fiddle, except maybe to an extent in Rajasthan where he is going all out and campaigning even on the last day. Unlike 2019, when Modi will aggressively be the face of the BJP and the BJP will successfully turn this into a Modi versus Rahul Gandhi campaign, knowing fully well that in that face-off, Prime Minister Narendra Modi does have an edge. Secondly, for the BJP chief ministers in these elections, you can't even call it a semi-final. For them, it is as final as finals can get. Each of them is fighting for their relevance and importance in the party. Raman Singh and Shivrat Singh Chauhan are very, very strong state leaders, but unlike Narendra Modi, they have not been able to come out into the national mold. They've remained in their states. Winning these elections is important for them to establish and reassert their position in the party to show that while they may be restricted to their states, they can still deliver these states to the BJP. For Vasundha Raje, this is a now or never. She has been an unpopular chief minister. She also has a very tense equation with the BJP Central Command. And a humiliating defeat in these elections could very well mean the end of her political career, or at least an active political career. For the Congress, on the other hand, this election is really entirely around the anti-incumbency sentiments against the BJP governments in these three states. That is what the focal and central point of the Congress is and that is the biggest advantage for the Congress really in these polls. This may not be the case in 2019. The anti-incumbency sentiment against Narendra Modi may not be as pronounced and as I mentioned earlier, that may be more of a Modi versus Rahul face-off in this election. At the end of the day, Rahul Gandhi, just like Narendra Modi, is not the face of his party. In Rajasthan, Sachin Pilot and Ashok Gehlot and in Madhya Pradesh, it is Jyotiraditya Sindhya and Kamal Nath who are leading the charge and they are actually adding weight to the Congress. Chhattisgarh, of course, the Congress does not quite have a local face to boast of. Of course, what is true is that a win or loss in these elections will impact the morale, will impact the confidence level of the cadres and workers of these parties. And that is something that is important in the run-up to 2019. One cannot deny that. However, having said that, these elections are just an election in themselves. They are a final election in themselves in many ways for these leaders involved in the BJP and Congress as far as these states are concerned. But for the parties as a whole, they are not a semi-final leading to the 2019 election. That's going to be an entirely different ball game altogether. Do subscribe to the Prince YouTube channel to follow us and our videos. For the Print, this is Ruhi Tiwari.